Today we bring you 10 jokes, one after another. These are our best pick of the week. Here we go. Our first joke of the day is a joke about married life. This man thought it a good idea to bring a work friend home for dinner, unannounced after work. Obviously, his wife was not very impressed by this. She starts to scream at the poor man, while his friend just sits there quietly observing. My house is a mess, my makeup is not done, and look at my hair, she screams. Then I haven't done the dishes yet, and look, I am still in my pajamas. Now you expect me to start cooking for the two of you. I will not do that, you are so inconsiderate, she went on. What is wrong with you? What were you thinking? Why on earth did you bring him over here at this time? The husband looked at his wife and spoke. This man told me at work that he is thinking of getting married. I told him that he must come home with me for dinner. Then he can see exactly what married life is like. <laughs> In our second joke of the day, this 65-year-old man needed surgery urgently. A 65-year-old man went to see his doctor. The doctor examined him and told him that he needed surgery urgently. The old man looked at the doctor and told him that no one will operate on him except his son, who is a well-known surgeon. So the doctor admitted the old man immediately and called the old man's son to come and take care of the operation. In the theater, surrounded by nurses and the anesthetist, the old man watched with a concerned look on his face. When the anesthetist was about to give the old man anesthetic, the old man called his son, the well-known surgeon, over. Son, don't be worried about operating on your old man. Just do your best and remember that if something happens to me during surgery, that your mother will be living with you and your wife for the rest of her life. <laughs> now we bring you a joke about a gardener who have been with this family for many years. This gardener worked for years for this family the husband had a very close relationship with him and always looked after his well-being. Whenever the husband got something new, he used to give the old one to the gardener. When he bought a new bicycle, then he would give his old bicycle to the gardener. When he bought a new TV, he would give his old TV to the gardener. This went on for many years, and it was an unwritten rule in the household. When anything got replaced, the gardener got the old one. One day the husband and wife got divorced and the husband got home with another woman. The gardener resigned with immediate effect. <laughs> In our next joke, a mechanic meets a heart surgeon. Hilarious. This mechanic was busy working on a vehicle's engine when a heart surgeon walked into his workshop. Very proudly, he said to the heart surgeon to come have a look at everything he did to the engine. You see, doctor, I had to open the heart of the vehicle because it had a problem. I decided it's time to do a complete rebuild. All the worn parts have been removed, machining was done, and I replaced all the worn parts with brand new parts. Now the heart of the vehicle is as good as new. It was then put back into the vehicle. It will now last for many years to come. Now doctor, this is the same than what you do with a human heart. So, why do I get paid so little? and you get paid so much for practically doing the same job. The heart surgeon grinned at the mechanic and said, Son, have you ever tried to rebuild that engine while the engine was running? <laughs> In our next joke, this woman visits a dentist, but is very scared. A woman went to the dentist, but she was very afraid of having a dental extraction, let alone anything being done to her teeth. But as she had a massive toothache, there was no other option than for the dentist to extract some teeth. She was just very scared for the procedure. The dentist looked at the worried woman and haven't even started when she shouted, Give me strength! I will rather get pregnant than going through the pain of having my tooth extracted. The dentist, who loves having some humor to calm his patients, looks at the woman with a smile on his face and said, Please make up your mind what you want to do, because I need to know to which position I need to adjust the dentist chair. <laughs> in the upcoming joke, we have a blonde woman who meets her husband in prison. This blonde woman was visiting her husband in prison. Her husband was complaining to her about how tired he was. After the visit, on her way out, she noticed a prison warden who looked like he oversaw her husband's section. She walked over to him 
and confronted him about her husband's condition. She said, My husband is very tired. You are giving him too much work, and he just can't handle it anymore. The warden, very surprised at this, said, Ma'am, your husband sits in his cell every day, play cards, eat and smoke. That's about all your husband do, so I promise you he is getting enough rest, and there is no need to be concerned about his well-being. The blonde woman, not very impressed with the warden's response, said, I don't believe you. My husband said he is extremely tired, because he has been digging a tunnel for the last two months. <laughs> Our next joke is a very funny joke about a guy visiting a psychiatrist. This guy went to visit the psychiatrist with a huge problem. He told the psychiatrist that his wife is continuously having affairs. She is not even discreet about it, which would have made him feel much better. The psychiatrist asked how the man knew about this. Well, the man explained, every evening his wife goes to Harry's pub to have a couple of drinks. While there, she will go and sleep with everyone who asks her. The guy explained that this was making him mad and that he doesn't know what to do anymore. The psychiatrist, after listening to the man's story, said, First, sir, you must calm down, then you can think clearly. A problem is always bigger than what it seems, the psychiatrist then asks. Now tell me, sir, where exactly is Harry's bar? <laughs> now we bring you a joke about a beautiful woman at a hairdresser. This beautiful woman was at a hairdresser to have her hair done. While the hairdresser was busy with her hair, she noticed this very attractive man sitting calmly, probably also waiting his turn. She turned to the man and said, You are the most handsome man I have ever seen. How about me and you meet later today for a romantic evening? The man replied that he was married and that he can't see how that will work. The woman said that she does not have a problem with him being married and he can just call his wife and tell her that he is over at a friend and that he will be home later. That way, they can still have their romantic meeting. The husband responded to this by saying, How about you tell her yourself, as she is the one that is dressing your hair? <laughs> Our second last joke is about a man visiting a doctor with a huge problem. A man went to his doctor as he was very concerned about his health. At the doctor's surgery, the man sits down and explains to the doctor that he's very worried. When he is at work, he will find himself suddenly standing with his clipboard in hand, not knowing what he was supposed to do. He would completely forget what the task was that he was supposed to do. He is concerned as it is affecting his daily life and puts his job in jeopardy. So, the man asks the doctor, Doctor, what is wrong with me? and what can be done about it. The doctor, after listening to the man's story, said, Well, I don't think there is anything major to be concerned about. Just tell me for how long you have had this condition. The man looked at the doctor and answered, What condition are you talking about, doctor? <laughs> Our last joke of the week is three quizzes which we find very funny. Let's see how you get on with these. Once finished, we would like to thank you all for watching our best short jokes of the week. Please subscribe and press that bell icon, and you will get these for the following week. Here is three funny quizzes for you. Let's see how you go. Some months in the year have 30 days, while some months have 31 days. But can you tell me how many months have 28 days? I bet you thought only one month but all of the months in the year have 28 days. <laughs> a young boy was rushed to the hospital emergency room, but the ER doctor saw the boy and refused to operate. This boy is my son, the doctor said, but the doctor wasn't the boy's father. How could this be? The doctor was the boy's mother. Do you think that it is legal for a man to marry his widow's sister? No, because if it is the man's widow, then the man is dead. <laughs>